Fabergé egg. <coughs> Jesus. A super crack what soul video today since the boys are going back to school and I've got to get things quickly packed. So I'll just quickly show you what's sold. These have went to the same person. It's Disney Infinity bundle of Nick Fury and a few other characters. That went for £7 on offer. And then this single black suit spider from the same range has went for eight forty nine full price. So both going to the same person, thank you. Spider-Man has sold. This is Homecoming Spider-Man and Cole's friend Dylan kindly donated this, this to me for free. So thanks very much Dylan and that was £9.99 that sold for. It's Monsters High Frankie Stein doll has sold and she comes with some outfits. I'm sure, I think they're pretty much homemade, design your own. So that has sold for £15.99. Tam the Bundle Man again, strikes again. Got these like in a big large, large lot of games and I sold all the individual ones off a long ago and these have went on offer for £6. All of this is plus postage so far. And then again, more games have sold. But these PS3 games are worth a bit more but I still bundled them up. It's actually missing one. Yeah, one more. So these five PS3 games have sold. These are a bit more desirable, these titles. And they have sold for £15.99 on offer. This little plastic spirit horse has sold. Full price, £6.49. And this Octonauts thing I picked up about a month ago has sold now with the character. And that's sold for £14 on offer. And these shoe shoes, shoe shoes, have sold. They would have been a 99p purchase from one of my charity shops and they have sold for £16 on offer. And the final sale going to America is this castle I picked up the other day for £3. The charity shop lady brought it over to me and said, do you want this? And I said, yep. And this is sold to America, to someone in America for full price £199.99. So, super chuffed with that. So I'll get that going as well. And that's it for the sales. Thanks very much. I'm going to get these packed quickly before I get around. <laughs> I've got a couple of hauls to show you from the last few days. I've been at the charity shops. I was there a couple of days ago and today. So I'll show you that stuff now. I'm picking up a lot of sort of jewellery, even if it's costume jewellery. If it's nice start to learn a little bit more about it and these are nice beads and that was £1.50 and Belle actually pointed this one out and it's vintage made in Hong Kong so definitely vintage most stuff that's made in Hong Kong is vintage Belle also found this for me and it's a Gloverall product Gloverall the vintage, the really vintage glove roll could do really well as well, but it is still a good brand to look out for. So that was actually £6 and it's an XXL. So nice. Thanks, Belle. I had to get these. I like my fish, but I think I'm going to sell them, obviously. They're made out of wood, hand carved, and they were one ninety nine. No, oh, they were a pound each. No. The big one was £2 and the little one was £1, so I'll sell them as a pair. I'm starting to pick a bit more clothes up again because I've started to get more room to take pictures. Um, I, I went a long time without having much room to take pictures, so I stopped buying clothes for a while. But I got this super dry sort of dress for £1. H&M floral trousers for £1. M&S jeans, brand new with tags, originally £30. Sort of a light pink colour, dusky pink, and they were £1. This Alessi crop top, £1. These were a little bit dearer from a different shop, but still really cool. More clothing. 
3XL Isle of Man official TT race top and that was two ninety nine. And this one got an even nicer graphic I think. Look at this. Isle of Man. And that was also no, that was two fifty that one for some reason. So and then it's got the all over print. Really nice. Usually bike stuff and that does not too bad. I picked up this for myself just to keep my if I find any coins when I'm metal detecting. It's uh, leather, just a nice little coin pouch. It was fifty p. Yeah, uh, that was a pound. I absolutely love this. I don't know why, but it's just because it probably reminds me of me. Stink, stank, stunk. <laughs> and it's uh, the Grinch, obviously. And that was one pound. It's not too often you see a Samsonite wallet, so I grabbed that because I thought it was quite unusual. And it's got the ties and stuff. And that was two pound. That one. So the embossed. Tankery Sterling Vintage Card Holder For £1 This was 50p <laughs> That reminds me of something in a film I can't remember what it was Please remind me in the comments if you When the person just goes When all the cards go down could be something made up in my mind. It has got a it has got a embossed symbol in it there as well. Look, but I'm not sure what. Fingers are a bit dirty from metal detecting. I've yet to look this up. Took a chance on it because it's sort of like made in Germany. A nice little couple of milk jugs for two pound. Brand new. I did pay up a bit for this one. It's a paperweight, but it's like a robin and it's a really nice blue colour. It's hard to show on the camera how nice it is, but I paid £5 for that, but it's also signed Medina on the bottom, so I know Medina is a decent brand for paperweights. And then, last thing that I got yesterday, was it? Last thing? No, I've got one more thing. Got one more thing. I got myself this because I'm starting to like get really interested in different jewellery and stuff like that. And this has got loads of information about jewellery. It's actually volume five, so but it was only a pound and I'll enjoy looking through that and then if I see it when I'm out and about, I might have an idea. This is probably my favourite find. This Adidas bag and this is so cool. It's got the big Adidas logo. It's actually in fairly good condition considering it's from at least the 80s. At least because I'll show you the tag. Made in West Germany. If the year code's at the back and it's 1973 but I don't know. Really, really nice retro Adidas school bag. I love this. It's so cool. I like finding old branded items. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price. The price was £2.99 on that. Oh, right. Items from today. I'll show you this big one first so I can get out of the way. Got this. And it's Vision by Corning. Corning is a good brand to look out for of pots and pans and things like that. Now, it's the same as Pyrex. Certain patterns and stuff will do a lot better than like plain ones or, you know, less desirable ones. So I've still to find this pattern, but some of these sets can like the bigger sets like six piece and stuff can go for over 200 pound but i'm not expecting anything close to that on this but i think possibly around about 50 at least for this so that was seven pound 50 
and it's not brand new but it is it's still got all the inserts and everything like that it doesn't look like it's brand new i had a quick look but it's still got all the like cardboard inserts and stuff like that so hopefully it's really heavy <laughs> so hopefully get that sold pretty quick and get out of the house and another piece of costume jewellery but it's a nice chunky wooden necklace and that was £1.50 shoes paid more than my usual 99p this time £3 for these but they are LK Bennett heels decent condition on the uppers as well I've got a pair of Edwin jeans good brand to look out for as well made in Japan are used but these were four pound and they're 34 i think they're salvage correct me if i'm wrong i'm not very good with that sort of thing yet <laughs> try to learn a bit of a vintage novelty item this i diet but i'm not in the mood 50p and it's still got the thing in the back and the old price sticker of 7 95 So hopefully about a tenner for that. A couple of pairs of easy to fit in your bag Bali shoes, which are always worth picking up. And they were one, uh, one pound each, yep. Brand new Bali Deluxe. I really like this as well. <laughs> it's from 1978 and it's Garfield. A diet is... Too little of a good thing. <laughs> yep, 1978. 1978 it says in the bottom. Made in the UK and that was £1.50. I got another one. Really retro. How cute is this? Friends forever. A little girl and her dog. So that was £1.50 as well. Has this got a brand? Oh, well, it's St Michael, so definitely vintage. Disney mug now. Year 2000. Mickey, like, going through the portal. Official Disney store. £2. And then Bell spotted this. I've still to look, up, look it up. It's a view quest. And it says it's a DAB FM, DAB FM radio and Bluetooth speaker. Retro Mini with the plug and it's battery powered as well so I'm sure that'll be worth more than £2.50 got this Vintage Boots shaving brush for £2 and I was going to get this the other day but then I thought well, it's probably only going to be worth £8 to £10 at the most but then Belle had a good idea and she says why do you not use that to clean up some of your finds so that might be what it could be used for for metal detecting so i'll look up make sure it's not worth like 20 quid if it's worth 20 quid it's getting sold 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 some more jewelry now now the reason i've got this one is bell found it and it's got some mint velvet on it and it was one pound. Sorry, my hands are minging for metal detecting. <laughs> I got a scrubbing brush today to try and get them. So one pound fifty for that. Yeah, we got this for our boys because this uh, Cole's left hand and he sometimes struggles to shuffle the cards, but he likes playing Uno and stuff like that. So we got an automatic card shuffler for him. Two pound. Bell spotted this nice Fabergé egg. <coughs> It's broke it. It wasn't me that broke it, but it was already broken. It's supposed to be that's supposed to be a hinge look like that, but the hinge is completely off. I might be able to super glue it or something. But it comes with a nice case as well. And that was only a pound, so that might be a fail, but we're getting close to the end now. Got two pictures here. One pound each. Fraser and Son. Fine Art Trade Guild, so I'd imagine these are originals. 
these might be originals i'll have to look into them but it's paris and a lot of people buy this sort of thing to put in their restaurants and stuff and then the final item was a little gift to myself two pound and it's a build your own bumblebee 3D puzzle thing, so that's just something for me to do, keep my mind occupied. So, we thing for me in the end. And that was it for today. So I hope you enjoyed those two hauls. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you join the new rebranded channel. And I'd also like a like if you can give me one, that'd be great. If you didn't like it, then fine. Dislike it. I'm not bothered. <laughs> and also subscribe if you would like to see more of this awesome content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stink, stank, stunk.